Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of facial hemangioma. A 23 years old female patient came with a left cheek gradual swelling. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. As the lesion is nearby to the parotid gland, we have started with the parotid gland first. These are the pictures of the right and left parotid gland and both look quite normal. Now when we come medial to the left parotid gland, we have seen a well-defined oval, slightly lobulated hypoechoic mass lesion of heterogeneous ecotexture and with multiple internal cystic spaces. The lesion is situated within the muscular compartment of the left cheek, just medial to the medial border of the left parotid gland. There is no extension of the lesion beneath the muscular compartment. You can see the parotid tissue here. There is no adjacent bony destruction also. Here is the picture of the lesion. You can see it is well defined and oval. The ecotexture is inhomogeneously hypoechoic with multiple cystic spaces and it is situated within the muscular compartment. Here is again another picture and you can see this lesion here. The lesion is around 37 by 15 mm. The center of the lesion is around 12 mm from the skin surface. Here is the picture of the left parotid gland in relation to the mass. It is situated adjacent to the parotid gland but not within the parotid gland. Unfortunately, I have missed to record the real-time color Doppler video. However, on Doppler study, there was weak vascular flow signal within the lesion. You can see a flow here, but when we check the pulse of Doppler, almost all the weak vascular flow signals show monophasic venous flow. Here is the sample we have taken from the last image vessel, and you can see it is showing the low-velocity venous flow. We have searched for the feeding artery which we have found adjacent to the parotid gland and it shows moderate impedance flow with a resistive index of 0.7 and a peak systolic velocity of around 35 cm per second. The vessel is originated from adjacent facial artery. The histopathology of this lesion was done and it was concluded as a case of hemangioma. So in summary, a well-defined oval slightly lobulated hypoechoic mass of heterogeneous ecotexture with multiple internal cystic spaces is noted within the muscular compartment of the left cheek, just medial to the medial border of the left parotid gland. There is no extension beneath the muscular compartment. Color Doppler shows weak vascular flow signals of predominantly venous origin. The supplying artery arising from adjacent facial vessel show moderate impedance flow. So this feature is concluded as a case of cheek hemangioma or facial hemangioma. Now the take home message. According to the New York nomenclature, that is the International Society for the Study of Vascular Anomalies or ISSVA classification of vascular anomalies, these lesions are merely known as slow flow venous malformations. But it is probably helpful to include the word hemangioma in your report as this term is most familiar to many clinicians. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.